Hey everybody, I am Surbhi and you are watching Key Differences. In this video, I am going to talk about the differences between balance of trade and balance of payment. So friends, what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Balance of trade. Balance of trade is a summary of total volume of imports and exports of visible items of the country with the rest of the world in a financial year. It tells us whether a country is selling more goods to other countries than it is buying or vice versa. It is the difference in the value of export of goods and the value of import of goods. That is, it is a true indicator of economic performance of an economy. Come, let us understand this with an example. If the value of exports is 10 crores in a financial year and the value of imports in the same financial year is 8 crores, then the balance of trade will be 2 crores. It reflects a trade surplus as exports are greater than imports, which is good for economy. But if the imports and exports made to or by the country tallies, then this situation is called trade equilibrium. Contrastingly, if the value of imports exceeds the value of exports, then there will be a trade deficit, which can have economic implications. So as I said, the net balance in the balance of trade will show the monetary value of the difference in exports and imports of a country. Moving on to balance of payment. The balance of payments is a broader concept that not just includes the balance of trade but also trade in services, income flows and financial transactions. Balance of payment statistics systematically summarize and provide a comprehensive view of all economic transactions of an economy with the rest of the world during a given period. It measures all the transactions between residents and foreign residents. So it is a true indicator of the economic prosperity or economic relations of a country. Talking about the components of balance of payment. There are majorly three components of balance of payment that is current account, capital account and financial account. We are going to discuss each of them one by one here. The current account covers trade in goods and services, income like wages and investments and transfers like foreign aid. The current account is useful for monitoring the flow of goods and services that is inflow or outflow. Next is capital account. The capital account records transactions related to non-financial assets. The capital transactions that occur between countries are recorded under capital account. Capital transactions include sale and purchase of assets like properties. The last one is financial account. Financial account records financial assets and liabilities. The surplus or deficit on account of current account, capital account and error or omission is financed through external assistance like loans, gross drawing from IMF, allocation of SDRs and increase or decrease in reserves. Moving on to the difference between balance of trade and balance of payment. Balance of trade is a statement recording the imports and exports of goods by or from the country in a financial year. On the other hand, balance of payment records all the monetary transactions performed internationally by the country in a financial year. Next, accounts for. Balance of trade accounts for only visible items, whereas Balance of payment keeps track of both visible and invisible items. Along with that, balance of payment also keeps a track of unilateral and capital transfers. Now you must be wondering, what does visible items mean? So friends, visible items are those items which are visible, touchable, tangible or physical. That is, they can be seen, measured and touched. As against, invisible items are those items which cannot be seen or touched, but it can be felt that is services. Hence, balance of payment includes import and export of services like banking or consultancy services of IT, legal, etc. Further, result. Balance of trade indicates surplus or deficit or it can be balanced too. On the other hand, balance of payment is always balanced that is, the receipt side is made equal to the payment side. Next, capital receipts and payments. Balance of trade does not include capital receipts and payments. In contrast, balance of payment includes capital receipts and payments. Next, structure. Balance of trade is a part of current account of balance of payment. Conversely, balance of payment covers the balance of trade, balance of services, balance of unilateral transfer and balance of capital transactions. In short, the balance of trade is a subset of broader balance of payment. Next, economic position. Balance of trade provides only a half picture of a country's economic position. It does not depict the economic performance of the nation. Conversely, balance of payment gives a complete view of the country's economic position. It reflects the real economic performance of a nation. Next, balance. 
and unfavorable balance of trade can be set off from favorable balance of payment conversely an unfavorable balance of payment cannot be recovered from favorable balance of trade so friends this is all for today i hope the concept of balance of trade and balance of payment is clear to you now however if you want to study the topic further in detail you can visit our official website that is keydifferences.com here you can find a detailed comparison of balance of trade and balance of payment along with their definitions links are also provided in the description box below i hope you liked this video and if you did please do give it a thumbs up and share it with other people also if you are new to this channel and want to get more such useful videos consider subscribing the channel and also hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button so that you are notified every time whenever a new video is uploaded on this channel and if you have any queries or feedback for me feel free to leave in the comment section below until next time this is me surbhi signing off